look at what healthcare is really supposed to mean for people, which is to help them live the best life that they can possibly live. And that's where Hudson Headwater Health Network comes in. Non-for-profit, I think 18 health centers around our region from Glens Falls North with very, very innovative approach to healthcare. And one of the things that caught us was a program called Pharmacy. So we called them up and asked them if we could come over and have a conversation about it. And as you can probably tell from the baskets in front of us here, that this is about eating well. This is about nutrition, which, again, if you think about healthcare and someone's personal well-being, that's the center of it, is what you eat, right? Your nutrition. Um, joining me today are two people really familiar with this. This is Jessica Frazier. I looked down the wrong name, right? That's so typical of me. <laughs> Jessica Frazier, welcome, Jess. Thank Very you. nice to have you Thank here. You for me. And you are the director of uh, care management Correct. here at Hudson Headwaters Health Network. And also joining us today is Amelia Gelnet. Hello. Yes. Nice to have you here too, Je uh, Amelia. Uh, Comfort Food Community. Yes. And uh, that may not name may not be as familiar as Hudson Headwaters, but so let's start there. What is that organization? So Comfort Food Community is a nonprofit that works to glean and collect locally sourced produce and redistribute it to people in need across the North Country region. We're based out of Washington County, but we service Warren and Saratoga and are expanding with that. Mm -hmm. um, the two of you locked arms over a program. Uh, you submitted and were awarded a grant for a pilot program for a year to help people with diabetes learn how to eat better to help them cope yeah, with that, from right? Mm -hmm. You got it, okay. Um, tell me, f kind of from the beginning, how you got together. So originally I had met with Hudson Headwaters staff at a conference that's a food justice summit, which is up in Tupper Lake, happens annually, mm -hmm. and basically collaborators across the North Country region who are dealing with these similar issues. Um, get together and try to game plan how to affect health care and also worker care on farms um, to improve it for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I had met one of their employees originally there and then basically we collaborated. I came up with a logic model on how to do this, um, studied quite a bit on what mm -hmm. the models are across the nation and this is something that's happening in more and more places. So. We're not alone in this anymore, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of lessons to be learned and impact studies to follow. Um, but basically, we collaborated together, wrote the innovation grant with 4HI, and received it, and have been working on it since. <laughs> oh, this is remarkable! A phrase that you hear common, commonly, is um, food insecurity. Uh, that can mean a couple of different things. Mm -hmm. Correct? Oh yes. Explain. So, food insecurity is not being able to afford the food that you need throughout the month for having to lean on, on other social resources in order to keep your plate full. Um, and it's also related to not being able to afford things that are healthier, that are fr fresh fruits and vegetables, and especially locally set sourced fresh, fresh fruits and vegetables. So it's um, having to buy things that are more processed from the dollar store, for example, that might be mm -hmm. Uh, too high in fats or sugars or salt and therefore have a negative impact on your health and fuel a chronic disease because that's all you can afford. So mm -hmm. this program basically aims to take that out at its root and to offer fresh fruits and vegetables to people to help coach them into um, eating a, and living a different lifestyle that will hopefully alleviate the problems that they're having with their health. You know, I bet there are some challenges. Uh, you think about it, I think one of the classic stories, right, is, oh, I don't like spinach because my parents made me eat spinach when I was young. You know, you get those kinds, those kinds of stories. But when you come down to it, eating well is not any more difficult than just pulling a can of something off a shelf, right? You just have to sort of be committed to it. You have to be committed. You have to know how. You have to know your options. But also... Um, we have to, our job at Hudson Headwaters is to help people identify the barriers to, to eating healthy and um, other food 
secure insecurity drivers, but really um, and then overcome those barriers by connecting them to community resources like Amelia's group or mm -hmm. any other of um, community agencies in the in the region. So if somebody in our community suffers from diabetes, a member of their family or whatever, they can enroll in this program or apply to enroll in this program, correct? Yeah. And uh, what kind of steps are involved in the program for that person? So basically we identify what level of um, their blood sugar might be right. or their BMI needs to be. This is more extreme cases. Um, and then basically we work on them to make sure that they want that level of change and we figure out how to get them here in particular. So it might be transportation that we work on with them to, oh, right. to coordinate with that. Or they have their care managers um, basically figure out what tools they might need. And a lot of the, the beginning questions are, you know, what are you familiar with? What do you like? Um, do you need any tools to make this a possibility in your life, like a grater or a peeler? Um, and we are, are also incorporating pre-processed foods, so some of it will actually be um, pre-sliced, so it's a little, even less of a step to get there because some people will have um, inflammation in their wrist or they broke it falling on the ice this year. That's, that's a real oh, situation. Yeah, sure, so, so having yeah. some of that pre-processed so it's easier to, to just use and, and encourage mm -hmm. that use. Um, we're doing all of that and also offering recipes to go along with it and even samples. And so. then care management staff will step in and help to make that long term. So yes. setting goals for the future, how do they do this on their own? Um, you know, three years from now, how do they maintain this? And mm -hmm. often a lot of what Amelia is doing and our registered dietitian, um, it opens the doors to other barriers that are going on with their life and access to health care and maintaining wellness. And their care management staff can step in and assist um, with their overall health. Mm -hmm. You know, you said something to me uh, before the interview that stuck in my head. It isn't what you can't eat, it's what you can yeah, eat. Yeah, we spend a lot of time right? telling That's patients very what interesting. they can't eat. Um, as in healthcare and being uh, an, uh, an agency and institution of, of um, traditionally someplace where people come because they're sick, we, we want to change that. We want to be the community source of wellness. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to just tell people what they can't eat because of their illness. We want to help tell people what they can eat that as a form of treatment for their chronic condition or for maintaining their health and also provide them with avenues to get there. Yes, of course. All every aspect. I, I, we could cycle back on almost every one of those. You know, one thing that strikes me that that's so much about the philosophy of Hudson Headwaters, right? You know, just that whole sense of being in the community, and reaching out and saying, you know, we're seeing it from your perspective, and we can add something here, either in education or resources or whatever, to be able to help you manage and get and get through this. And of course, let's face it, we don't live in real metro areas. We live in very rural areas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, having access to this kind of information, I mean, it's imperative and it, it, it increases the quality of, of, of one's life. Um, I want to do uh, cycle back on uh, two things. Mm -hmm. Education and cooking, mm -hmm. right? Because it's one thing to be able to identify the fact that, okay, I, I do need to eat better or whatever, but what do I do? How do I get started in that? And mm -hmm. also, what do I do with this? <laughs> What's a garlic? You know? yeah. So you do supply that as yes. well, right? And what yes. do I do if I don't have a stove? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what right. Do about See, that? Th things you don't even think about, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Things, a lot of so you are providing that as part of the as part of the program, correct? Well, connecting them on where to look, and yes, there's incentives involved. So the olive oil and other items that might be a little too also expensive, but are tools mm -hmm. that are necessary to eat healthier, like balsamic, will be a, a future incentive. Whole grain, whole grain everything, basically. Yes, whole grain everything. Boy, <laughs> and I then hear you yeah, there. having walnuts be an option certain weeks, lentils, things, and mm -hmm. and also having the recipes to go with it. And I call them resource recipes, and I point out um, basically. It's written so that you have an or, so across the board. So if you don't like this item, you can try this instead. And these substitutes, yeah, right. so if you have them at home, like you can mix and match, or if you don't, don't worry about it. You don't mm -hmm. have to have every single, every single cup down to a T. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit more feeling out where people are and recognizing that everyone's in a different situation and moving them forward dependent on where they are. Well, that's supposed to be what healthcare is about, right? I think, you know, not to state the obvious here. Yeah. Um, how does someone apply for the program or enroll in the program? So they should talk to their primary care provider okay. first. We also have um, a number that we could... 
Oh, good. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll have the number we'll on the that. screen. And I would also add that we have a fresh food collective, which is very active already. So mm -hmm. uh, while this program is, is limited at the moment, and we are looking, it's a pilot, so we're looking to extend it, we do have quite a range of, of free resources with low access barriers um, across across Washington and Warren County. So if you look up the freshfoodcollective.org, that's a really great place to see cool. where we distribute our fresh fruits and vegetables nearby. Mm -hmm. And as far as the food pharmacy, we're hoping we can prove this works and that we have that's healthier right. patients and we can make it a standard part of all of our health centers in the communities, especially the more rural communities. See, that's a very good point. It's a pilot program. It's going to last for about a year. But I remember re in reading the press releases, the goal isn't just to say, oh, okay, we're going some data, right. next. Right. You really want to take this program and make really it long term. Yes. And when you think about the needs of the community, you know, and I, the one last thing, you know, we happen to live in an area where almost everything you see in these baskets here is right here. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, we happen to live in a very beautiful part of the world that can actually say, okay, you want to live a better life? You want to eat better? Yeah. You know, we yeah. can help with the help of your two organizations, of course. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much Thank for letting you. us know. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Thank it, you. Uh, you really have to look into this. The number's on the screen. Check into it. If you have diabetes, know someone with diabetes, or you just want to make that turn to say, you know what? I need to live better. I need to eat healthier. This is a great first step. Well, thank you, ladies. Very nice to talk thank to you. you. Yeah, me too. Thank you, know. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. See this interview again. You can head to our website, looktvonline.com.